The time has come to push the button. World. The time has come to push the button. World. My finger is on the button. My finger is on the button. Well, this is the first time we're actually going to use the rig um, for a test, so we're going to put this artificial ligament in and, uh, and see if we can get some results and see if the rig actually works. My finger is on the button. It's just, uh, it's an artificial ligament, so it's basically just um, sort of lots of this twine, sort of all to intertwine, and this is what they'll use when they do testing on artificial ligaments. Going to put this ligament in here, into the, the rig, load it up, sort of screw it in, get it all set up, and then we're going to crank this, this weight up using sort of this, this is like the sling. pulls the weight up using the controls over there and then when, that, when we get that to height we want to drop it from we'll just press the button and it'll drop it just about to drop this and I've got the computer starting to collect data so let me see the button let me see you hit the button then. here's the big button oh I'm not going to turn it on <laughs> I'm about to press the big button and it's about to drop the rig it moved quite a lot there but <laughs> so the, the whole actual rig bounced. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yeah, as we can see, well, I've, it's been screwed in. Yeah, the, it's got the, the artificial ligament has got holes in the ends, so that's where it's meant to be sort of screwed into the bone with. So that's what I've used to sort of attach it to this, which is the, the stuff they use for fake bone as well. It's like glass or sort of fibre stuff. Um, but unfortunately, this is like the weak point of it. So rather than actually extending the ligament and breaking the ligament, it's just sort of, it's shit sort of broken there. It's just ripped out through where the screw has gone through. I mean, the rig, the, li the rig itself survived and it did break, so that's encouraging. And, and if you're doing the test on the real sort of specimen, the bone ligament, bone sort of joint is a lot stronger than just sort of a screw thread like that. So hopefully when the actual test will be done, the, the ligament will get stretched and not, the, and not just breaking out the bone, which is basically what this is sort of showing. You, you put this camera down low so it could actually film the... the impact that happened and we're watching it back to see what happened to the rig <laughs> very quick <laughs> it's kind of it's i mean throughout the project you, like, i've hit sort of stepping stone or sort of hit these sort of mini brick walls where you've got to just work your way over it and this would be another one in it and if i was continuing the project then this is all, this would sort of be something i could approach but i mean looking at an engineering sense this was probably what's going to happen anyway it's going to get ripped there um, so I'm not too disheartened by the fact that it hasn't completely worked because this is only the fake ligament and it's not completely perfect. So I think this has still been a minor, minor success, I think. <laughs>